Danger Dolan. From horror game scenes that play with what you already know, to tried and true scenes that still scare the hell out of you anyways, we count 15 of the scariest scenes in gaming. Number 15. Bioshock, Dentist's Office. Bioshock isn't the scariest game in the world, it has some creepy atmosphere for sure, but all of the enemies are perfectly killable. When you walk into the dentist's office, the room fills with smoke and then a corpse appears in the chair. However, it does nothing so you grab the audio diary and the smoke fills again. You turn around and BAM! There's a splicer. Of course, if you're anything like me, your first reaction is to shoot, which kills him pretty quickly. Number 14. Half-Life 2, Ravenhole. Another game that has good atmosphere, but is also not that scary. Still, Ravenholm is a level ripped right out of a horror game, and I honestly wasn't expecting it. Unexpected horror can sometimes be more effective than a slow build up. With that said, I probably should have been expecting it, since they keep telling you, don't go into Ravenholm, with heavy helpings of fear laden into their voices. Even still, the area is full of enemies with restricted health and ammo, just like your classic survival horror game. Number 13. Bloodborne, Giant Invisible Hand. Bloodborne was advertised as a horror game, but I, like many others, thought that FromSoft would leave the horror side of things to the enemies that can easily kill you. Since it was Victorian London themed, I obviously wanted a top hat. So as you can imagine, when I finally found one, I immediately put it on. The second I left the equip screen, I was greeted with my character being lifted into the air and being crushed by a giant translucent hand and then promptly thrown down on the floor. Needless to say, the experience was fatal for my character. Number 12. System Shock 2, Shodan Revelation. I'd played the first game, I knew my main enemy was going to be an AI, I even knew its name or what it looked like, but that didn't stop me being surprised, shocked, and more than a little frightened at Shodan's revelation. This is mainly because the main ally I had been following up to that point was found dead in a chair, but not only that, it turns out she'd been dead the whole time and I was following Shodan's orders. Number 11. Dead Space 2, Opening Scene. Dead Space 1 was a scarier, creepier, more atmospheric, better made game than Dead Space 2, but Dead Space 2 had one strong point over the original, and that is the first scene. You start the game looking at Isaac's face, something you never got in the original. Then you're talking with some guy about this and that, when he gets stabbed from behind, the scariest position for sure, by a necromorph. Then you have to run through a futuristic but dilapidated asylum, dodging necromorphs, running away from corpses and hoping that you don't die whilst being tied up in a straitjacket. If this isn't a great opening to a horror game, I don't know what is. Number 10. Resident Evil 2 Alligator The scariest aspect of the old Resident Evil games is the horrid controls. That's not even a euphemism, it really makes the games scary as all buggery. The scariest scene in all of the Resident Evils, however, is definitely the one where you come across a lake. Your ally is shooting the water, you don't know why, but then all of a sudden there's a giant alligator snapping at you and your seat is now wet and you won't admit why. Number 9. Thief. Deadly Shadows, Shale Bridge Cradle. Ever wanted to visit a haunted house that was once both an orphanage and an asylum at the same time? Me neither, but Garrett, the main character of Thief, has to do exactly that. There are ghosts that flicker the lights, creep up behind you, and that aren't easy to kill or run away from. Not only that, the house itself has a memory and won't let any visitors leave the place alive. How does he escape? Maybe he never did. Woo! Number 8. Alien Isolation. The locker isn't safe. Everyone knows that there are only two places safe in a horror game. The poor screen and a conveniently human-sized locker. That's it. Sure, sometimes there's a cutscene where you're caught inside said locker, but that's a different story. Alien Isolation takes this trope and turns it on its head. You're no longer invisible to enemies in the locker, instead you have a split second to press the button to hold your breath, or you're violently ripped out and eaten like a skin burrito. Number 7. Amnesia. The Dark Descent. The Morgue. Morgues are creepy. Old fashioned morgues without any refrigeration to keep the bodies fresh are doubly so. Not only that, but add in the fact you need to drill into a corpse's head to get a key item in order to proceed in the game, and you've got a scene that will scare anyone but the extremely jaded. Also the item you get from the corpse is its blood. What do you do with this blood? Inject it into yourself, of course. Number 6. Outlast. Turning on the generators. Outlast is in general a scary game. There's not many moments in the game that aren't worthy of this list. However, the first scary moment is the one that sets the mood. And it sets that mood incredibly well. You need to turn on the power generators that are located in a flooded, pitch black basement whilst being stalked by a monstrous human that's stalking you. Oh, and you can only see it whilst looking through a camera that drains batteries faster than you can Alt F4.
Number five. Condemned. Criminal Origins. Mannequins. In this scene, you have to cope with creepy, uncanny valley mannequins that teleport when you're not looking at them. Oh, and you can't kill them. You can't stop them. You can only go through the motions that the game laid out for you. And those motions lead to soiled pants and a shrill scream you weren't even sure you could produce. Number four. SCP Containment Breach. SCP-096. SCP-096 is a monster that will find you and kill you if you see its face. Even if you see its face in a video game about scary video game scenes. Sorry about that. In this game, when you see its face, it will hide its face for a moment. Before chasing you down, closing and locking doors has no effect. It will tear through them and tear through you. The best thing to do is not see its face in the first place. But it's too late for that, isn't it? Number three. PT. Look behind you. The radio in PT is fairly innocuous at first, seemingly ignorable ambience, but that doesn't last very long. After you explore the house for a small while, it will give some very simple directions to you. Look behind you. If you're naive enough, you'll follow these instructions and more than likely, you'll be met with a pleasant face that wants a midnight snack. Number two. Fatal Frame 3, The Ghost Behind You. Fatal Frame, or Project Zero for the Americans, is a series of extremely good and extremely scary games from Japan in which you're armed with a camera as your weapon, because Japan. This is one of those, oh my god, please run away scenes that are so common in horror, but of course you can't do much about it as it's a cinematic. In the scene, the main character sees a ghost, which promptly disappears, and then reappears behind the main character shortly before giving her a big ol' hug. How lovely. Number one. Silent Hill 3, The Mirror Room. You shouldn't be vain, you know. Stare into a mirror long enough and your room will turn into a rusty mess of organic creepers and darkness. Well, at least that's how it is in Silent Hill 3. And if you try to leave the room through the door, it's locked, of course, until right before you get killed. However, there's no way of knowing it will be unlocked, so you just watch your reflection being taken over by the organic growing rust and die. That's it for this countdown. And have a go!